Hello and welcome to Glendale Public Library's new School Readiness Program, Grow, Play, Learn. During this eight-week virtual program, preschool aged children will learn basic knowledge for school through stories, songs, and games. Caregivers will learn tips to support your children and prepare them to be successful at school. This program is intended for caregivers and children to participate together. This project is supported by the Arizona State Library, Archives, and Public Records, a division of the Secretary of State with federal funds from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. At any point your child needs a break, feel free to pause the video and take one. Let's get started. Hello, my friends. You're very welcome to our week six of preschool readiness program. I am Alex. And I'm Noel. Hello. And today we will learn essential life skill of taking on challenges. It's very important. We will do different type of activities, reading books, with stories, then go through the alphabet circle and alphabet chant, singing different songs and take our breathing exercise too. But first, I have what's called a lacing card. So this is something you can try at home, and just a little bit of a skill is fine motor skills, where you're going to learn how to do tiny little tasks that require a little bit more detail with your fingers, okay? So that's what's called fine motor skills, all right? So I'm gonna show you just a second on how this works. You can kind of see it up close. So this will be in just a second. However, I also have a really cool alternative because not everybody will probably have a lacing card at home. So I will show you in just a moment. Here we go. Hey guys, this is Noelle again from our school readiness uh, story time here. And just to um, get you caught up on um, what we were talking about earlier today in our program, this is what I was showing you in the video. It's a, it's a lacing card. You have all of these holes around the edges. And then what you do is if you have one of these at home, you probably have already played with them, but you tie a little knot at the bottom here. And then you take the other side here and you can start to push that up. That's gonna act, this is going to act like the needle. All right, you're just gonna pull it through just like that. Now then where the fine uh, motor skills come in is you're going to lace it. Oops, and that happens too. You're going to lace it back and forth. See, so you're gonna take that and you're going to push it through that hole there. And then, and then you're gonna take that again and you're gonna do the same thing all the way around your video or all the way around your lacing card. Again, take that there, pull it through. And you keep going all the way around until you get to the very end of the lacing card. So if you have one of these at home, this does, this practices fine motor skills because you have to get that little kind of plastic needle type end into a tiny little hole. And that takes a little bit of skill and practice because sometimes when you don't have that 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 muscle memory where you're where you're, where you can just automatically the hand-eye coordination it can be kind of a challenge speaking of challenges so that's one challenge but here's a cool thing if you don't have one of these lacing cards at home then the other cool thing you can do is what else has laces in your house do you possibly your shoes? If you have shoes that have laces on them, you can ask mom and dad to help you and have them show you how that you can remove all of your shoes from your laces and have them help you lace it up. All right, so that's another, the alternative way you can try something like that is to have them help or show you how to lace your shoes. And more importantly, another skill set you'll wanna have is learn how to tie your shoes as well. That's pretty cool too. There's different ways you can tie your shoes, but you need to learn which one is the way you wanna go and practice it. And pretty soon you'll be able to tie your shoes with your eyes shut. So you see what a wonderful activity Noel introduced right now that you can do with your children to refine their motor skills. And now let's start 
our time learning time with hello song. Hello friends, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello friends, how are you? How are you today? Hello friends, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hello friends, clap your hands, clap your hands today. Hello friends, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Hello friends, stomp your feet, stomp your feet today. Hello friends, touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your nose. Hello friends, touch your nose, touch your nose today. Very good. So grown-ups, join us. And you have opportunity to perform all those activities together with your children. Throughout their lives, children will need to be resilient <clears throat> and continue to persevere through stressful situations. Use encouraging words and phrases to help them understand that making a mistake is a part of learning and inspire them to keep trying. Okay, now let's try to do our breathing exercise to control our breath and get ready to learn. So I have this little Hobermann sphere and I will show you what's happening in our lungs when we inhale. Let's try to inhale now. Inhale and lungs just expanding and exhale and they're becoming smaller. Very good. And you can keep your hands like in a cup and blow hot air balloon. Have you seen the air balloon? Because when we inhale, we inhale air. And we can use that air to blow air balloon. Let's start to inhale and take a deep breath and blow your air balloon and it's growing like this. Let's to blow our air balloon bigger. Take a deep breath and exhale and it's growing. And one more time, inhale and exhale. And your air balloon becomes so big, let's just go into the air. <laughs> it's flowing now. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much breathing with us. And now our brain becoming clear and we are ready to learn new stuff and go through the our next exercise. Yes, taking deep breath can be fun part of everyday life. You can use your imagination. You can blow on the hot soup, like imagine, like it's hot soup and you blow <gasps> or maybe hot chocolate. <sighs> and you want to take a little sip. This exercise through the day will help your child to self-control. And right now our alphabet circle time. I will point to the letter and I will show you a thing that starts with this letter, like A. The thing is apple. You're right, let's to go and do this. So A. Apple, very good job. B, book. B, book. Next letter, C, k -k -k. cat. The word cat starts with letter C. D, 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 dog. The word dog starts with letter D. E. Elephant. Next letter. F. F, f, f. Fish. Good job. G. G. Guitar. Next letter. H. Hat. Next letter. I. Igloo. And next letter. J. Jello, jello in this can. Next letter, K, 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 key. And after key, letter is L, L, leaf. Next letter, oh, you already remember that, M, mouse. 
Yes. Men, n, n, nest. Very good job. You always remember all letters. Oh, a octopus. Hop. Letter below. We will put it back. P. Penguin. Penguin. Good. The letter Q. Quail. Qu quail. Next letter. Ah. Rainbow. Nice job. Next letter is snake. I see everyone guess that this is snake. Snake starts with letter S. Next letter T. Taco. Mm, very good. Taco. Nice food. You. Umbrella! You're right. You can see this little umbrella here. Purple umbrella behind my heart. Next letter. V. v violin. Violin starts with letter V. W. The letter is such a long name. Whale. Whale starts with letter W. Next letter. X. X-ray. Next letter. Y. Yan. Yan. If you're needing something, then you're using Yan. And the last letter of our wonderful alphabet. Z. Zebra. Great. And now let's play the game. I will flip one letter and you will try to guess what letter is this and tell your parents which way you guessed that this is letter, this is what it is, what I covered. Okay, because we have different ways to guess about letters. Okay, let me see. I just will cover it up. We'll cover one letter. We'll flip it. Okay, now look at this. Can you guess what covered letter is? Go and ask your parents if you're right. Dear parents and caregivers, ask your child how they guess that this is the right letter. Yes, some of you guess because you can see a little penguin and the letter P. Oh, some of you already remember that after O goes letter T. There are different ways to guess what letter is covered. You can play this game too with your child. And now we are going to do alphabet chant. When I point you to the letter, produce a sound and make some actions. Ah, ah, ah. Baby crying. Ah, ah, ah. Baby crying. B, 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 bark is crawling. K, 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 cut something. K, 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 I'm cutting something. D, 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 dancing. D, 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 dancing. Elephant. Elephant. Something mm, 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 mm. yummy, something 
you close your hoodie thank you so much doing the alphabet chant with me you can practice writing with your children too just challenge your children to do the shopping list to help you uh, write menu for the dinner or label some items around your house this will help your children understand what's and letters understand what's and that letters have meaning and they will be ready to start reading. Hi guys, and we're back to our number chart. Um, this is probably, you've seen this more than enough throughout this process. So we're going to do our normal one, we're gonna count from one through 30, and then we're gonna play, play with our number chart in a little bit. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna to point to the numbers, and then we're going to say that number, what that number is, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, we're almost there, five more, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Wow, guys, you got one through 30. Good job. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to, we're gonna do a rocket ship again. But instead of going, we're gonna go back from 15 all the way to one, all right? And when we get to five, we gotta get our rockets ready to launch, okay? So, so when we get five down to one, we're gonna get ready to launch that rocket. Here we go, you ready? So we have 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, get your rockets ready, five, four, three, two, here we go, ready, one, get your rockets ready, blast off, good job guys, good job. So when we count it back from 15 to one, that really helps us with our subtraction skills. So that's like we're subtracting as we go backwards when we count, all right? So when we when we count backwards like this, 
we can associate numbers with what we have. So numbers with quantities. So like one is one star or maybe seven is seven stars. So that number seven is a quantity of seven stars that actually means something. All right. So at home, you can practice finding different ways to count to three just by using your hands. So what I mean is you can go one, two, three, or maybe you can go one, two, three, or could, you have 10 fingers. How else could you, how else could you switch that up? Maybe you could go one, two, three. You can play with it all kinds of different ways you want and you can have fun and maybe there might be a secret way you could do this. I'm not even gonna tell you, I wanna see if you guys. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to turn the chart around and I am going to turn one number over and I want you, like we do with the ABCs, to tell me what number that is or tell your mom or dad what number that is. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, guys, so you need to tell your mom or dad who are with you what number is missing and why. Don't just say because it's so, because I said so. Tell them why you think that number is missing. So I'll give you, I'll give you a few minutes, I'll give you about a few seconds here to figure out what number is missing. You know which one it is? Can you guess? That's right. Look at that. It's a number. What what number would that be? What number would that be? We're not going to count all of them, but I can certainly tell you that those are that those are 18 stars for the number 18. Alrighty. I'm gonna put that right back there. Alrighty. So Encourage your child to tell you in complete sentences why that number was missing, okay? Because that helps with their vocabulary and their vocal skills as well as being able to speak in complete sentences, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pick two numbers between one and 10. And I want you to tell your parent or whoever is with you, your adult that's with you, I want you to tell me which number is great is bigger all right so here we go let me grab oops, i'm gonna grab this one and i'm gonna grab this one all right so i have the letters three and the letter or the number is three and the number what what number is that that's right that is a nine all right, so between those two numbers, which has a greater value or has a bigger value than each other? And again, tell your parent why you think that's so. All right, don't just say because it just is. Complete sentences to your adult, which number has a greater value or has a bigger value than the other? You guys got it? All right. If you said the number nine, you're correct. And I'll show you why. Has a greater value, nine has a greater value than three because there are nine stars. There are nine total stars than three total stars. See, if we just counted these three stars, one, two, three over here, there are still plenty of other stars left. So this has more stars than this does. So this is the greater value. All right. Hello guys, I'm back again. And now we're going to play a game, but this time the game is going to be different. I really like you, like you made a rocket with Noel counting backwards. So imagine that you're still flying on the truck and you're landing on a known planet and on a known planet all rules are different. Dear adults, 
when you're changing the rules of your favorite unknown game, then you're just challenging your child. And instead of doing the game on autopilot, they will start to pay attention to the new rules. So guys, are you ready? You landed on unknown planet and the rules on this planet are changed. The color red means... No, not stop. It means go. This is unknown planet. This is a different rule. Color red, remember, it's go faster and faster and faster. Then color yellow means stop, not moving. Yes, it's a different planet, different rules. And color green means moving slow. So, did you get the rules of that unknown planet? Let's try to practice. So, imagine you in your rocket and you're going right now. So, you're standing on the launch. Stop. Yes, on this unknown planet, very good. And now start to ignite your engine and moving slow, slow, slow. You're doing great on unknown planet and move fast. <laughs> Flying around on your racket, looks around on the unknown landscape. Okay, and now you're doing slow, slow 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 and it's time to land stop okay now let's imagine that you are known an exotic crawler on this planet can you crawl show me are you crawling really good okay now you stop this is the rule yellow color on the planet means Move, just ready. Now, yes, you slow crawling, crawling, crawling. Crawl faster, faster, faster. Those of you who are crawling faster just follow exactly rules of new planet. And now, watch out here. Right, you crawling. Slow and now you stop and now slow yes you're growing slow and now grow faster 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 like unknown growing creatures and now stop so this way we're changing rules of the game Thank you so much and you can continue to play today and maybe you know other games the way you can change the rules and play with your children. Hey guys, gotta crawl back into the room now. You guys ready? Come back into the room. You probably crawled all over the house, so come back on in. So I had the first I have the first book today for you. It's called When Pigs Fly. And this is a book by James Burks. All right, so this is a really cute little book. And if you guys ever really wanted to fly, well, this book is going to teach you maybe pigs can fly. Well, you're gonna find out if they really can, okay? So we're gonna read this book and then we're gonna do a really fun song. Okay, ready? Here we go. This is called When Pigs Fly by James Burks. Today, I will do what no pig has done before. I am going to fly. But pigs can't fly. It's easy. I'll just flap my wings really fast. You don't have any wings. Oh. Problem solved. What did he do to solve that problem? What did he do? What did he do? Oh, that's right. He has two wings there. Oh, no, she says. I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe we should just fly a kite instead as he crash lands on top of her. Once I'm airborne, just let go. What does he have on his back there? Is 
and a kite. So he has wings and a kite. He has a great idea, but should I let go now? Look what happened. I don't think that was a success, but guess what? Failure is just learning. Remember that, okay? If you need this jetpack, what is that jetpack? That jetpack will do the trick. What is that jetpack? Do you know what that is? That's right, that's a fan and it's still plugged in. Ready? Whoosh, crash, crash, crash. Maybe I should wear the helmet. She keeps crashing into her, huh? Not flying. No, not flying yet. Still not flying. So again, they're learning, right? The mistakes they're making, they're learning from them. I give up. Oh my, she says. Look at that face. You're right. Pigs can't fly. But over the problem solver, I have an idea. Do -do 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 -do. Here she goes. We're going to see what she's doing. She looks like she's doing an awful lot of crafts and stuff. Here we go. Let's see. Doop, doop, doop. <gasps> we You did it! <gasps> Look at that! <gasps> the, what are those in the sky? <gasps> and what are they flying in? <gasps> wow, you did it! How high can we go? Super high! <gasps> Look at that creativity! Wow! Look at that! So creative! Pigs can fly! Yay! The end. Thank you for listening. All right, guys. Wasn't that such a cute book with those piggies? After all, pigs can fly, but they just have to use their imagination a little bit. And with, the, and with his friend that, to help him, she made that dream come true that pigs, maybe they can fly. All righty. So here's what we're going to do. So this next one, really isn't a song but it's a really cool thing to try okay so we're gonna make a rainstorm you guys ready so you're gonna take two fingers and you're gonna rub them on your palm ready here we go go rub 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 all right so that's kind of like a light drizzle you got it all right so we're gonna rub our hands together and that's a little bit of a more drizzle here we go and then we're going to tap two fingers together here you go you ready you hear it like here you go, soft rain. And then here's a heavy rain. And a little bit heavier rain. And stop your feet, crack. Here we go. Down four, down four, down four, down four, and stop. Wow. What a rainstorm. You can do that again and again and again. So we started first with rubbing our hands together, or rubbing our fingers on our palms. And then we went to a drizzle. And then we did a soft rain. And then we went to a, a little bit harder rain. And then we went to a heavy rain. And here we go for a great big downpour. Here we go. And if your thighs in your head, here we go. Yay! And stop. Good job. Very cool. Good job. Thanks for playing. Oh, my friends, you managed so wonderfully with making the rain challenge. And now we're going to turn to non-fictional books. We have so many of them in the library, and it's not necessary to read non-fictional book from page to page. Most important to have a conversation and to discover something new and talk about different challenges. For example, we have a book, My First Yoga Class will help you handle stress doing yoga. For example, another book, Follow the Garbage, will tell you the story where does your garbage trucks go. Every week you see somebody pick up your garbage 
if you ask a question, discover this 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 book. And another book that we're going to read today, my first puppy. Do you know how to be responsible and take care of your puppy? Not yet. We are going to read this book and you can have very interesting conversation with your friends and parents and caregivers about that. Hi, my friends, and here we are. We are going to read the book, My First Puppy. What is it like to get a first puppy? I know many of you want to be a happy puppy or any other pet owner. In this book, we are going to read about feeding, petting and caring for your dog. Look at those happy children, happy puppy owners and all those wonderful puppies. I am just can't wait to start reading this book. This book was written for us by Alicia Sarin Caputzili with wonderful photographs by Jill Watchte. I will open the pages. I am getting a new puppy. This is what many of you are thinking. Today is the day. Okay, when on the day you going to have your new puppy, what you going to have here? Let's see. Your bed and food are ready. So guys, you need to prepare everything for the nice, wonderful soft bedding and for the food. There are two bowls and one bowl for, you're right, for water and another bowl for doggy food. Look how smart you are. And we don't have to read non-fictional books all the way. We have here tips on the back and we can flip into this. There is advice about the bed, a bed or crate what we are getting. So your pet may like a soft bed or a cozy crate. And another tip, to things to cuddle. A cuddly blanket or toy will help your puppy feel at home. So just think about that. Maybe you want to get a blanket for your puppy. And I cannot wait to play with the puppy. Okay, my new puppy sniffs my hand. This is how he says hello. And this is another tip on the back of the book. Getting to know you about the sense of smell. Sniff, sniff. Did you know that puppies use their sense of smell to get to know you? Gently let your puppy sniff the back of your hand. Mm, it's maybe a little bit tickling and waiting. Use a soft voice too. Hello, my friend, wonderful puppy. And this is some tip about how to choose a name. Soon your puppy will get to know his or her own name. What name will you choose for your new pet? Sunny, Charlie, Sport, Luna? Oh, I see, use your imagination. Use that wonderful name that you like and your puppy is going to like it too. Okay, then we put his collar. Off we go. We put the collar to take a puppy on a leash for a walk. You can choose a colorful leash and a collar that fits your puppy well. Soon your puppy will learn to walk by your side. You know guys, take care of puppy takes time and patience. My puppy must learn to walk on a leash. Be aware about this. I stop and wait a bit. Just let your puppy to sniff surroundings. Let's to flip the page and see another advice. Oh, I teach her to come and stay. You have to spend time teaching your puppy. Look how this girl holds her hand. Stay. I can teach her to see. And when your puppy follows the, your command, what are you doing? Yes, you prize your good dog and you give treats. So the treats will be very useful. And this is the tip, sit, stay and more how to train your puppy. 
and how to go in outside too. Don't forget to keep treats in your pocket. I can give my puppy water. So wonderful, Kia. Look, the puppy never is going to be thirsty because this little boy taking good care of him. I feel his food dish too. So the puppy always will have food because we want the puppy to be healthy. A healthy pet, food and water, fresh food, clean water and exercise will help your puppy grow strong. You're growing and your puppy is growing. I brush and pet her gently. There is so much I can do. It's such a wonderful and lovely thing taking care of your pet and, and it's so fun. And you know, your pet always will appreciate your care and will love you more. Oh, oh my puppy went potty inside. We clean it up right away. Such a wonderful care. We will learn to go outside if we teach him every day. Every day, guys, if you want to have a puppy, you need to care and to make him responsible and wonderful friend and adult doggy. And we have here tips how to be patient with the puppy. Having a puppy is a lot of fun, but it takes time and patience and practice. As you learn how to keep your puppy happy and safe, your puppy will learn how to be well behaved too. Let's check out the page. It is fun to play fetch. It's very fun. My puppy likes her ball. Yes, don't forget to get some toys for your puppy. Playing with my puppy is the most fun of all. Puppies, they like to chew. Yes, puppies love to chew. I put my things away. Oh, oh, oh. Beware about this. This is how they're growing. They like to chew. And I want to keep my puppy safe each and every day. Just put those little things away. And this is another tip about this. Stay safe. You can help your puppy so you can help keep your puppy safe. Be sure to always clean up and small any small things your puppy might nibble on so he or she doesn't swallow them by mistake. Okay, let's to flip the pages. And this is very important tip. My puppy wakes his tail. And when the puppy wakes his tail, what does it mean? You're right, it's meaning that he is very, very happy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He is happy as can be. Having a pet feels great. My puppy is a friend to me. What a wonderful book, my friends. We can learn a lot about this. Are you ready to care for a new pet? This is a challenge, but the challenging things always wonderful and you can get your own wonderful friends. Please come to the library and check out books like this one. And we have books, how to take care for any of your first pet. Guinea pig, maybe parrot, maybe little kitty, or even tiny spider. Okay. Let's go back to the room and do some exercises. Oh, my friends, we learn a good deal about the puppies. And right now, let's do some exercises. It is a funny exercise song. Dear parents and caregivers, we can challenge your child and ask them to sing the song to you. So they could tell you what, and we're going to sing right now together this song. Could you guess what song it is? I know some of you already guessed. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears. 
toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Very good. Now let's do it faster together. Yes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Faster! Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And we can play like this endlessly. Thank you so much. And right now, time to read another picture book with Noel. Take a deep breath. And listen. Yay! Come get your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Good job. Yeah, it's really fun playing with those those lyrics. Sometimes you can really get a good get be, be really really super silly. So here we go. So I have a question for you. Have you ever been really super duper scared to do something that you needed some encouragement to keep on trying and you can do it? Well, I have a story for you, and. It is called Jabari Jumps. And it's a really cool story and I felt exactly the same way when I was a little kid. The story is about this little boy. He, wants to, he, he learns how to swim, but his next big challenge is jumping off the diving board. I remember I was super duper scared to do that, but I had encouragement from my swim teacher and my mom and dad saying, you can do it, just go up there and jump. So this is a really cool book. It's called Jabari Jumps and it's by Gaia Cornwell. So here we go. All right, here we go for our second story. This one is Jabari Jumps by Gaia Cornwall. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I am a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. So Jabari watched the other kittens climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board as big as tiny bugs. Then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, up, up. And then they dove down, 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 splash. That looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari looked at the bottom of the ladder, and he looked up. You can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb up and up. Oh, this ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. Oh, a tiny rest sounded like a good idea. And when he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said, and they both looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes I feel a little scared. I take a deep breath and tell myself I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels like a little surprise feels 
a little like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. And Jabari looked up and he began to climb up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight and he walked all the way to the end of the diving board. He curled his toes around the edge. And Jabari looked out as far as he could see. And he felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. And then he sprang up up off the board, flying. And Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went. And then he came back up. Whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What? asked his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. The end. And as it says here, Working up the courage to take a big leap is hard, but Jabari is nearly almost ready to make a great big splash. And sometimes it is kind of hard to work up that courage and it's a little bit scary. But you know what? Whenever you're ready, take a deep breath, calm down, and when you're ready, go for it. All right, so Jabari actually got to jump off that diving board and how proud of himself and his parents must have felt for him. Good job, guys. So you guys ready for a song? Here we go. This is one we've done before, probably so. Here we go. Walking, 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 walking. Hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now we stop. Now we stop. Key tip down, go like a mouse. Ready? Here we go. Tip toe, tip toe, tip toe, tip toe. Hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now we stop. Now we stop. Good job. All right, got your march on. Here we go. Marching, 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 marching. Hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now we stop. Now we stop. Good job. All right. We're just going to this last time. We're just going to run, 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 run. Here we go. Ready? Running, 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 run, 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 run. Running, 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 running. Now we stop. Now we stop. Good job. Okay. One big breath. Here we go. Calm down. Good job. Good job. All right. We are closing. Dear parents and caregivers, please click the link below and fill out our survey. So let us know how we are doing in our great play learn program so we could improve for our next session. And now we're going to sing goodbye song. Okay. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. 
The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you for attending this session of Grow, Play, Learn School Readiness. Let us know what you thought of it by filling out an online survey. If you are interested in our take home kits for this series, please fill out the online form. Both are listed below and we will be in contact. This project is supported by the Arizona State Library, Archives and Public Records, a division of the Secretary of State with funds from the Institute of Museums and Library Services. Thank you and we'll see you at the library.